fall of Constantinople. Welcome back to Immersive History and today we're going to talk about the fall of Constantinople. The conquest of Constantinople, also known as the fall of Constantinople, saw the Ottoman Empire take control of the Byzantine Empire's capital. The city was taken on May 29th, 1453, marking the end of a battle that lasted 53 days and started on April 6th. Mehmed used cannons to maintain a steady onslaught against Constantinople's formidable defenses while he encircled the city from land and sea. The loss of the city eliminated what had formerly been a strong barrier between Christian Europe and Muslim invasion, allowing Ottoman expansion into Eastern Europe to continue unchecked. Byzantine Empire By the middle of the 15th century, Byzantine imperial holdings had been reduced to Constantinople and the area immediately west of it as a result of ongoing conflicts for domination with its Balkan neighbors and rival Roman Catholics. Furthermore, Constantinople's population had decreased from approximately 400,000 in the 12th century between 40 and 50,000 by the 1450s due to the city having endured numerous disastrous sieges. Most of the area inside the walls was made up of vast open fields. The schism of 1054 and the Latin occupation of Constantinople in the 13th century furthered the deterioration of Byzantine relations with the rest of Europe. This led to a mutual hate between the Orthodox Byzantines and the Roman Catholic Europe. However, the belief that Byzantine rule of Constantinople was a crucial fortification against Muslim dominance of the land and water in the eastern Mediterranean was just as firmly established. Mehmed II was only 19 years old when he succeeded his father in 1451. The youthful Ottoman monarch was seen by many European courts not to seriously challenge Christian dominance in the Balkans and the Aegean. In truth, Europe rejoiced at Mehmed's ascension to the throne and anticipated that the Ottomans would be misled by his inexperience. Mehmed's cordial greetings to the European envoys at his new court helped this assessment. Mehmed's conduct, however, did not reflect his kind words. Construction on a second fortification, Rumeli Hisar, was started in early 1452 and was located several miles north of Constantinople on the European side of the Bosphorus. The Andolu Hisar fortification, constructed by Mehmed's great-grandfather Bayezid I, was situated right across the strait from the new fortress. This pair of castles protected against invasion from, by the Genesis colonies on the Blackwater coast to the north and guaranteed total control of sea traffic on the Bosphorus. The name of the new fortification was Boaskis, which is Turkish for throat cutter or strait blocker. With the dual meanings of strait and throat in Turkish, the pun highlights its strategic position in order to prevent Thomas and Demetrios, two despots in South Greece, from aiding their brother Constantine Paleogus during the approaching siege of Constantinople. Mehmed ordered Turrican Beg to post a sizable garrison army in the Peloponnese in October 1452. In order for the bridges to support the heavy cannons, Kararaka Pasha, the Baylor Bay of Rumelia, dispatched soldiers to prepare the routes from Adrianople to Constantinople. Additionally, if necessary, the roads were strengthened by 50 carpenters and 200 artisans. The Ottoman Empire's rise and the rise of the Turks. Enemies surrounded the Byzantine Empire after this restoration. The Byzantine Empire was now rivaled in power by the Bulgarian Empire, which had risen up in rebellion against them centuries before. In the Western Balkans, a new kingdom called the Siberian Empire emerged and seized numerous Byzantine territories. The Turks were once more robbing Byzantine lands and Asia Minor was taken over, making the situation even more severe for the Byzantines. The emperors were forced to rely on foreign fighters once the theme system was destroyed to provide warriors, but these hired soldiers weren't always dependable. Anatolia experienced a slow conversion from a Byzantine Christian nation to an Islamic religion ruled by the Turks. Fall of Constantinople The walls of Constantinople were largely regarded as being the strongest in all of Europe in the 15th century. The land walls were a double line of ramparts with a moat on the outer spanning 4 miles 6.5 kilometers. The taller of the two reached heights of up to 40 feet 12 meters with a base of as much as 16 feet 5 meters thick. In the thousand years since their construction, these walls have never been broken through. The Sea of Marmara and the Golden Horn each had adjacent sea walls, the latter of which was 20 feet 6 meters high and 5 miles 8 kilometers long. Constantine was sure that the city's defenses 
when combined with a massive metal chain, could stave off a naval assault and withstand Mehmed's land forces until help arrived from Christian Europe. Constantine's small fighting army, however, limited his ability to protect his city. According to eyewitnesses, Jacopo according to eyewitness Jacopo Tadaldi, there are between 30,000 and 35,000 armed individuals there, but only between 6,000 and 7,000 trained soldiers. East Tanani planned to place the majority of these troops at the north and west land walls, the center of which he believed to be the city's most exposed area. To protect the chain, a small fleet of armed merchant and navy ships was also stationed at the Golden Horn. However, Constantinople's protectors would be overstretched without foreign assistance. Mehmed II issued an order to stop all looting on the third day of the invasion and ordered his forces to retreat outside the city walls. George Sperantes, a Byzantine historian who witnessed the fall of Constantinople, provided the following report of the Sultan's actions. On the third day after the fall of our city, the Sultan celebrated his victory with a great joyful triumph. He declared that everyone in the city who had managed to avoid being discovered had to come out into the open and leave their hiding spots because they were also to remain free and no questions would be asked. The restitution of homes and property to individuals who had fled our city prior to the siege was also announced by him. He further stated that they would be treated as previously according to their rank and faith if they returned home. The Roman Empire, an imperial state that had existed for nearly 1500 years, came to an end with the conquest of Constantinople and two other Byzantine breakaway provinces shortly after, by allowing the Islamic Ottoman army to proceed into Europe without resistance in their wake. The Ottoman capture of Constantinople inflicted a severe blow to Christendom. Sultan Mehmed II moved the Ottoman Empire's capital from, from Adrin to Constantinople after the conquest. The Hagia, Sophia, the Hagia Sophia was converted into a mosque and Istanbul finally replaced Constantinople as the city's name, a significant event in the late Middle Ages, which some historians consider to be the end of the Middle Ages, was the capture of Constantinople and the fall of the Byzantine Empire. Changing the city's name, numerous Ottoman papers demonstrate the use of the Arabic transliteration of the city's name, Khwazani or or Kostanini, after the Ottoman conquest in 1453. Istanbul was established to symbolize the city's new status as the capital of the Islamic Ottoman Empire. It initially appears immediately after the conquest, and some writers at the time credited Mehmed II with creating it. Before the conquest, it is asserted that the Turkish population of the Ottoman Empire was already familiar with the name Istanbul, which is supposed to be derived from the Greek words Estembol. However, the Turkish postal law revision of 1930 merely made Istanbul the city's official name. And this marks the end of our video. If you've enjoyed watching this, please let us know by giving us a thumbs up. Want to know immediately when a new video is uploaded? Then activate the bell to be notified whenever we upload a new one. We'll see you in our next video. Thank you.